For the next 24 hours, you guys are going to be coming around the world's smallest country with us. We gave you a few clues in the last video. Some of you managed to guess it. Well done to you guys who did. Not only is it the world's smallest country, but it's also the world's richest. Look at all those yachts behind me. Look That's at my proof. pockets. I didn't even bother bringing a wallet because everyone's so rich. I'm just going to ask everyone else to buy me stuff. There's some very strange rules to where we are as well, which we're going to tell you later on. We are now going to be going to the world's smallest country's Starbucks. I wonder if this is going to be the world's smallest Starbucks. It doesn't look that small. No. It's kind of no. yeah. a good size. Right, so we're going to see what things are in here and if it's the same as well. Yeah, it's actually bigger than some of the ones they have in England. Ah. But, ooh, let's have a look. That's actually really cool. Oh wow. They have smoothies and juices. When I see vegetarian tea. wraps. Mm -hmm. I'll probably have this. Yeah, apple juice. And I think in terms of like the actual like drinks that you order, I think they're all the same. I think you can get like matcha and that. So dad's definitely gonna be getting matcha. What are you getting Mia? Um I think I might get one of those smoothies. Can you get one for me please, Sienna? Of course. Fizz fam, Koa is literally going nuts. He keeps trying to like I don't know. Right, so Mess everything up. There's battles going on over the world's smallest Starbucks, right? Their normal size smoothies calm down. Although Mum's matcha looks like it got smaller. Oh yeah. Is it? It's a small though. It is a small. You normally drink medium, but for some reason you've opted for a small. No, what, I've what been. What made get... you choose small? Oh, uh, you've forgotten. I've been drinking small matches for the last month in England. Because you knew we're coming to the world's smallest country. That's why. Yeah. I'm just really surprised Mum got a hot drink considering how hot it is no, here. No, she always does. It's also literally like the world's hottest country. It's no, no it is where you are. It's about no. 30 degrees. Fish fan, no matter where you are, are any of you like me that you just still want to like a nice hot cup of tea? I know it's green tea, but it's still technically tea, isn't it? Yeah, Cheers. Cheers. No. Mine is full of ice, which is just so much more right, sensible. Right, doesn't taste I good. I am not like that. I'll definitely get an ice drink or like a smoothie, which is refrigerated. It tastes exactly the same as a Starbucks in the UK, in America. By the way, guys, I have to mention about my hat. I got the hat from the hotel, but then I I added my own flower hair clip. You look so stylish today, you know, I love your shoes. Yeah, I feel like they go when I wear dark colored outfits, not when I wear light colored outfits. So comment below whether you think they're nice or you, or do you think they look like old men's shoes. These are the old men's shoes in question. To wrap up this Starbucks scene, it is a normal size Starbucks, but they still charge for soya milk here. All the other ones actually include it nowadays, don't they? So yeah, it's still the most expensive country. Tut's tut, what's a Karen Darren? <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> we're going down. <laughs> right, we've got to stop putting these faces now because we're in the world's most. Watch mum attempting to most. use a push trap. We're in the world's most classiest country as well. So you have to yeah. be very smart and you can't behave like a buffoon in public. Down here is lots of yachts. So we're going to go to the yachts, yeah? We're going to go and buy a yacht today. Let's buy some yachts. Oh, Ginger's happy this now. Is what? Justice for gingers, that's what I said this morning. Right, what happened yesterday? We went to the beach, Mia asked me to put sun cream on her back and her legs. And then I said, Mia, I don't want to rub it in on your bottom cheeks. And then basically she barely did it. And then all of her, like... Hey, it's also all on my legs, it's like weirdly burnt. Right, the moral of the story is don't expose your bottom cheeks when you're at the beach. Well, it's a bikini. Like, how do you get your bottom cheeks burnt if they're not exposed? What do you want me to wear, men's shorts? So clearly the only option is either you expose your bottom cheeks or you wear men's right, shorts. You've just been a dad, you've been, you're basically being Darren Karen again. Stop being a Darren Karen. <laughs> look at oh that. Look at that. Oh. Look at the car. Whoa. Look the yellow one. Do you like the yellow one? I don't like the red one. Do you know what type of car that is, Koa? It was the yellow one. Yeah, it's a Ferrari cover. You have to say it like this, so you have to like rev the engine when you say it, you have to go Ferrari. Can you say it like that, Carmel, like that you're revving your engine? Ferrari! <laughs> Ferrari! Well, do you <laughs> think I can save up enough pocket money to buy one? Yeah, yeah definitely. But if you put it on your... It's nice, Sienna. Yeah. If you put it on your vision board... <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Or you could just come here and find a feature. I'll buy a pink one. That wasn't very PC, was it? Oh, you're being Darren Karen again, okay, so stop it. <laughs> also, cars drive backwards in this country as well. 
<laughs> yeah, totally, Mum. You can tell someone doesn't have their driving license. I dug myself a hole there, okay? Yeah, yeah I wasn't thinking that. Shit, I didn't your say license? that! Shit! Your boyfriend's got a license, though, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you've never seen yachts which cost hundreds of millions of dollars, then you can see them behind me now, which we've never seen before either. Absolutely massive. But rather than the yachts, we're going to go on the carousel, aren't we? Yay! Who got all the rides? Yeah. So fast I can't catch them. Oh, there they are. In your fire truck, Koa. You're flying a plane, Koa, yeah? Hi! We're going to go in the souvenir shop. And fun fact about me, I love souvenirs. You've got to go in a souvenir oh shop. God, exactly. When you're yeah. on holiday. Look at the fast. Oh, wow. Here is another clue of where we are. These cars in particular will give you a massive hint. Koa, you just wait here. I will surprise you two with a special surprise. Let's go. I'm really excited. First fam, I feel like this is totally going to give it away where we are because, I mean, it literally says it everywhere. I've always thought like collecting symbols would be fun, but... How old are you? 18? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get some postcards, but I'm not sure if I should get them all the same or different. I don't know, they're a nice postcard. Yeah. Well if they're for the same if they're for different people, it doesn't matter that they're the same. Yeah. Right. Inside their fist I didn't have good luck with the cars because I don't know where Darren's gone. I think Co is going nuts over the cars in the window. Guys! Come on! I've got some news. The souvenirs in there, it was more of a magazine shop fit fam. Right. And the cars that were in there, they were like 60 euros each. Minimum. Like 300, yeah. the ones yeah. Yeah. Right so in the so I collectibles, think clearly. I bear. Oh, I like that fun, yeah! I got you a Which lollipop. 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 lollipop! lollipop! Okay, what do you say? Thank you. No, what do you say in this country? Uh, pissy. What do you say, Koa? Let's see. Wow, Koa. Have you ever seen a boat that big? Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Koa thinks he's seen one this big. It's called Titania. It's literally like borderline Titanic, isn't it? It's Douglas, big dog. Oh yeah, Titania Douglas. So when I was saying there's yachts here what are worth hundreds of millions, like literally look at the size of this thing. I don't know if it really shows up on camera. I like big boats and I cannot lie. <laughs> I don't know who this one belongs to, but we did see before we came here that apparently Jeff Bezos' yacht is moored here as well is he still the world's richest man i think he's not elon musk is right now but whatever world's second richest man or something that could well be his yacht guys for ages i've been thinking that in front of us up there is an apartment but actually i think it's a boat what? oh my god let's go around the corner and actually see but i'm thinking it's a boat because of all the pointy bits oh, oh. We've got around the corner now and that was the biggest trick of all time. It is a building that's a bit anticlimactic but this place is literally the opposite of anticlimactic isn't it guys? Look at those ones boys. So behind me Fizz fam you can see the most beautiful beach ever. This is the only public beach in this country but it's very very pretty but there is a rule that you have to remember now don't get too overexcited once you leave the beach because you must not walk around with no top on your swimsuit on or bare feet once you leave this beach area here and you go over there. So once you leave that section there, it is forbidden. And there is a very, There's very really, expensive really fine. Big fines or like they can arrest you for it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. We're now going to be taking you to one of the most iconic sites in this country. And if you haven't guessed already, you are definitely going to guess where we are. We are now in the most iconic spot of the country. So behind me, you can see a casino. And then there is a really fancy hotel where there is actually a film which had Selena Gomez in it. And it was all filmed there. And this is literally crazy. We're finally here. Who can guess where we are now? We are, come here down. We need to announce it. If you haven't guessed already, we are in. Another clue, they have a Formula One here every summer. Lots of famous people come summer. here. Lots of really rich people, famous people, sports people. It is one, two, three. Monaco! We are whoop, whoop. actually in the capital city of Monaco, Monte Carlo. But actually, what's strange, the country is so small, Monte Carlo pretty much makes up all of the country. Yeah. yeah. No, I think the other part was called Monaco City, wasn't it? The lower part. But ah. it's not even two miles across. So, I mean, that yeah. is why it's so small. It's tiny. But it does take quite a long time to walk across it, though, because there's so many hills and steps that you have to take. Yeah, if so, you look behind us, we're basically on the edge of a mountain. Yeah. It is so beautiful here, though, guys. Well done to all of you who guessed correctly and we still have some fun things that we want to do here still don't we guys yeah like i would actually like to see how long it takes to go around here on that small little tourist train that would be pretty <laughs> Ooh, cool yeah, yeah. yeah. mia and sienna we just got some food me and sienna have got these little bowls and now i've got this and 
What have you got? I've got a smoothie bowl and yeah. you've got... I've got a nice little pomegranate lentil yes. and a vegan feta cheese salad. And then I've got a Mexican platter that comes with tortilla chips. I got the same thing. Really delicious with all the guacamole. And I've got watermelon juice with coconut water and lime. And what are these, Karma? Uh, our dessert. Yeah. You've yeah. got nothing. I've ordered tacos, but the dessert is panna cotta. So this looks amazing. Yeah. And this is from Seaside Juicery, which yeah. is a vegan place which opened here in Monaco. And it's so, organic yeah. as well, isn't Yeah, it? organic, vegan, ticks yeah. all the Box. And Co is having a little nap, which means we do get to eat our food in peace. And he's having a nice little nap. So and we're going to get him a takeaway box. Yeah, so we're we'll going to get him get... a little selection. Yeah. Yeah. There's loads of banana breads here, like big, huge energy balls, smoothie balls. It's so delicious. Our type of place, isn't it? Yeah. yeah nice. What are you doing, girls? <laughs> Did you? Up this is such a workout. Yeah. We've made it down one mountain. That's what it feels like here. We've just been doing loads of steps and no, we mountains. Have. We have, look. We've, yeah. We have come down the mountain. There's loads of escalators everywhere to help you get down, which is really handy. Next up in the world's smallest, richest, most expensive, lots of other titles country, let's go into the supermarket and see how much things actually cost. Like, let's look at milk, bread, toilet roll. What else are basics? So first of all, bananas, which are one euro 99. Now in the UK, I feel like they're about 80p a kilo. So here's two euros, which is what, about one pound 80. Yeah, so the double. Just, wow. Then soya milk is down here, Alpro, and it is two euros 55. Wow. <laughs> How much is it in the UK, roughly? I think standard sort of price is about 180. So two euros 55, I don't know what that comes down to, about two pounds 20, so a little bit more. Pack of Cokes here, 12 cans is seven euros 55. Oh my gosh, look what I found, Cole would love this. A packet of soil like that time when he put soil all over the house. I was babysitting when you guys were on holiday, they put soil all over the house, like you weren't supposed to know that though. <laughs> yeah, well, we tell you that. I have never seen this before in my life, but I swear, like, they wouldn't be allowed to sell this in the UK for health and safety or something. Yeah, they because, always like, say you're not heck? allowed to put cotton buds in your ear. They're encouraging you to put things in your ear. Oh my gosh, there's a mini Kit Kat! How much are they selling? Usually they're 99p for one bar. So, two euro 99, and I think there's three bucks. So, they're a quid in the UK for one, and they're three euros for three here. They're actually cheaper. Oh, wow, I mean, that's amazing. Kids, I was a privilege as you lot, so do you know how to use them, Darren? I know how to use them, yeah, but same, yeah. I didn't get spoiled like this. But anyway, the stuff here, Georgie, yeah. in general, it's about 30 to 40 percent more. But those Kit Kats, they were multi-pack and they ended up actually being ever so slightly cheaper than the UK. Wow, well I just went into a chemist and they've got the most amazing French brands in there with toiletries, and it didn't seem that badly priced. But maybe because they're French, then like because you're buying them from here, yeah, maybe that makes them cheaper, but there's loads of nice. This is their first time because they wanted lollipops and I saw those and I was like, oh, they're a classic. And they were so excited, but they don't even know what they are. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Well done, Sienna. Right, you want out, Kara? Yeah. Yeah. Look, should I show the fist fam, Kara, what you have so to you do? you open it. Yeah, lift it up like that and then you can eat it, Kara. Uh, right, there I, you go. I and think was... one fell out, so I have to put it back in. I think they'll work it out, won't they? Yeah. <laughs> Mum's trying to leave from me a Oh, look at Kara doing his own push chair. That's the thing about the babies, is they're so like always trying to be independent, which actually makes it really hard because it means they want to do everything. Oh my gosh, watch out. Pull the brakes on. Pull the brake up then. Yeah. <laughs> look at that fat. Oh look, look at his fat look Kara. <laughs> you saw that car Kara? Right, so girls, tell the fifth fam where we've gone to. Shopping mall. The Metropolitan. Even Carmen is. Carmen's on the ball more than Sienna. Right, right, we're going to the fancy shopping mall now. Here we go. Mia, turn it off. No. Just... Mia, that, that, Mia, just turn it on and you Okay. Sorry, fifth fam. Oh, there's a little bit of a 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 bit of a
very big chandeliers. Apparently this mall is very petite and fancy. Wow. So it's the opposite of Dubai. No, it's actually ah. fancy, Stop not small. Me. You I get just... my point, don't you? I've had too much stuff. We never get her point, do we? In a way, it's kind of nicer, because the thing about when you go to a really large mall, you're having to walk around so far to get to the shops that you want. So if the small mall has all the stuff that you want, then it's just nice. Yeah, you're not around for ages. You don't get tired. <laughs> I don't think there's a smiggle here. And chandelier is actually a French word. We were talking yeah. about how many Bouquet, words in English language so many French. Things. I just remembered because Monaco is really near France, it means there'll be loads of perfume shops because obviously in France there's loads of perfume shops. So I'm excited. Mum, look, I think that would suit you. You need it some cheetah many print in your life. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's go now. <laughs> First time, I'm so excited. In Selfridges, they have vegan macaroons, and they are literally my favorite thing. Yeah, and yes, they're macaroons. Macaroons, not macaroons. Macaroons are coconut -y. Macarons are macaron. This. Okay. Um, Anyways. Yeah. have it here. Well, it is French, though. I know. It makes sense. Look. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I literally, these things are amazing. They're like crunchy on the outside and chewy on the mid, in the middle and then they like melt in your mouth. And it's, we only it's tried honestly the, the best thing. This year, it's, it's so delicious. good. It's delicious, like the best thing ever. If it was an actual like dessert, like a proper full dessert, I'd probably end up having like a box of 12. Oh my God, Dad, have you ever tried one? No. Try oh one, God. please, oh, honestly, it's a mind blowing yeah. experience. The two pound 50 biscuit, I'm not even allowed to sit down. Don't do it all in one go! It's really nice. There is a Sephora here. I mean, we are in France, kind of. Biscuit? It's not a biscuit! Trey BM. Trey BM. <laughs> okay, Mum. They have the famous spray. Everyone loves this, don't I they? I know, it's the best. And it's pistachio oh. salt caramel, honestly. I got the body glitter oil from here recently and it smells amazing. And I got the deodorant. Honestly, that deodorant smells amazing. I actually want to eat it. Do they have it here? Uh, Mum's enjoying Monaco. Did you know that mother flamingos lose their color pink when they have their babies, then it comes back when the babies grow really? up a bit? Yeah, because it's that stressful. This is gonna sound really weird, but for some reason, I never really like deeped what is inside a kangaroo's pouch. But I kind of just assumed they were fluffy because I'd always seen like teddies of them and stuff. I saw in a video on Instagram, they are not fluffy. Karma, look at these mannequins. Meow. Yeah. Yeah, look at these really practical shoes. Can you get them for me, please? And I can wear them when we go on all the walks up the mountains. They're purple. They are the, yeah, honestly the color. biggest heels I've ever seen. Come down to the beach for sunset. Check this out, a few little yachts out there. Little. The sun is set. Oh yeah, not little, absolutely. Massive. <laughs> See that ah. massive ice cream, Karma? Yeah. I'm Should we get ice cream? It. Yeah. Hey, for that view one. Look it. No. No. It's plastic. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. I'm not sure if I'm going to get coconut chocolate or peach. Ooh, what you got there, Karma? I've got a uh, watermelon and peach. No, you've got peach and mango. What have you got, Koa? Peach and mango. That's right. I got coconut and peach. It's actually Ooh. really good and it looks really good. I got pistachio and chocolate and the chocolate is amazing. And the pistachio is like really, almost says like salted caramel. 10 out of 10. Mmm, this is amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's actually really good. <laughs> that one's quite cool as well. Look at that one. So we survived 24 hours in the world's smallest country. We'll see you guys back in London. Bye.